This six foot three build is the best all around guard build in NBA 2K25. This build gets gold badges galore. We're talking gold ankle assassin, gold handles for days, gold unpluckable, gold interceptor, gold glove, gold limitless range, gold dead eye, gold shifty shooter, gold mini marksman, gold posterizer. And the best part is these are some of the best badges in the game. And if you hit level 30 with this build, you can put one of those badges on Hall of Fame. So you could put that limitless range to Hall Hall of Fame Limitless Range or that gold posterizer to Hall of Fame posterizer. So hopefully this video can help you get a better idea of what build you are making to start 2K25. But keep in mind, we did not know any animation requirements except for contact dunks when making these builds. So make sure to check those animation requirements before making any builds in 2K25 and drop a like on the video for this all around build. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and let's go ahead and get into this 6-3 guard build. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry aka double h back at it with yet another early 2k25 video now as you guys already know i'm going to be making a 6-3 all-around point guard build for today's video but if you want to look at my other builds that i created at 2k25 community day make sure to check out the channel and look around and i have plenty of other builds that you might like also make sure to watch my my player breakdown video there's a lot of key information about the builder this year that you really need to know and one screenshot that i'm going to bring up from that video is going to be one of the reasons why i chose 6-3 for this video and why i think 6-3 is a good middle ground height for point guards especially for all around builds that want to play or make a build for any court or any game mode. So this screenshot is a five foot nine 99 overall on the left in 2K25 and a six foot seven 99 overall on the right on 2K25. And really the key point that I mentioned in my My Player Breakdown video that I'm about to say right now is that the shorter you go in the builder, the more attributes you have available to spend in the builder meaning that your attributes are going to look better the shorter you are. But obviously, not a lot of people are going to want to go five foot nine because that's just going to be too short for most people's play style. And it's also not going to work if you want to have a build for every game mode because then you're going to have to make multiple builds because you're not going to be able to play with a five nine on the 1v1 court or the 2v2 court. So this brings me back to why I am making this 6-3 point guard for you guys. I think this height and the build that I'm going to end the video with and the final build i end up making for y'all in today's video is going to be good for the 1v1 core obviously you know you might not be able to defend post scores but you're going to defend the other tall iso builds it's going to be good for the 2v2 court the 3v3 court and even the 5v5 court so you're gonna, you can have one solid build to start 2k25 with that can work in every game mode on every court not only that but a lot of people i heard talking saying oh i'm going 6-4 the reason why you shouldn't go 6-4 and you should go 6-3 is not only you're going to get more attributes on a 6-3, but Mini Marksman is one of the best shooting badges in the entire game. This badge is going to let you shoot over anyone taller than you. This badge activates even if someone is guarding you that is even just one inch taller than you. And remember, there's only five shooting badges in the game, and this is one of the badges. And you can only unlock this badge if you are 6-3 or shorter. So if you make it 6-4, you can't get Mini Marksman at all. So once again, the three main reasons we are going 6-3 is shorter builds get more attributes in the builder 6-3 is a good height that can hold its own on every single court at the point guard position and number three animations and jump shots a lot of the good ones are going to be cut off at 6-3 or 6-4 and below mini marksman's going to be at 6-3 and below i'm sure there's going to be a lot of good jump shots like last year with patty mills that are going to be 6-4 and below and probably some good dribble moves as well that are going to be cut off at 6-4 and below i know people are going to skip around the video there's probably going to be some people commenting saying this build's trash when in reality they just skipped around and didn't actually see the final build i made because the first couple clips we're going to be showing in today's video are going to be me just going into the builder trying to make a 6-3 when i initially tried to make 6-3 for the first time and then at the end of the video we're going to show what I finally came up with and then I'll even show some gameplay even though it's with default moves in the my court with this build so the first thing I did obviously go point guard I went 6-3 minimum weight and I went with six foot three wingspan, which is the minimum wingspan. And the first thing I did was upgrade my three pointer to a 99, which gives me every single legend shooting badge in the game. Now you probably see shifty shooter blacked out, but that's because I just haven't upgraded agility yet. If I upgrade agility to a certain attribute, you would get legend shifty shooter at a 99 three pointer as well. Now peep that I'm already a 64 overall, by just putting that three pointer to a 99. So the next thing I did was like, okay, I want legend playmaking badges too. So I upgraded my ball handle all the way to a 97 to get legend handles for days. And that only gave me Hall of Fame Unpluckable and Hall of Fame 
ankle assassin i need a, i need 98 ball handle for legend ankle assassin and 99 ball handle for legend unpluckable and look at i'm already in 98 overall because that ball handle automatically upgraded so many other stats and guys i'm a 98 and i haven't even put a dunk on this build i haven't put any defense no rebounding haven't even touched speed or agility yet either besides those stats just upgrading automatically through me upgrading you know three-pointer and ball handle and yeah i'm a 98 overall so i was like okay this is not it this high three-pointer on a 6-3 you know the high three pointers might have to go for the even shorter builds we might have to we might have to lower this right so i started adjusting the build went to 97 3 for hall of fame shooting bad is then i upped my speed with ball to try to go for that legend lightning launch but i couldn't even do that so then i started sacrificing some ball handle then i realized that i can't even get 94 speed with ball at this height weight and wingspan uh so i put my ball handle back up i still have a 71 pass act and then I, you know, try to put some defense on the build. I couldn't get the 79 steal for that silver glove, but I have bronze glove. I still have like no perimeter defense and I'm a 98 overall. So this is my first attempt at making a 6-3, right? And you guys are going to go through this too when you're attempting to make your builds in 2K25, at least with no knowledge. But now that you guys are watching some videos, you're going to have some more knowledge on the builder. You're going to be more prepared when you come into the builder. So yeah, this build is not looking like an all-around point guard build, right? So attempt number two, I went back into the builder. I went 6'3 this time, same height, same weight, minimum weight. And I went 6'5 wingspan because I was like, dude, if I'm not getting a 99 three-pointer, there's no point in going, you know, minimum wingspan. Let me get longer arms, get that 97 three-pointer for those Hall of Fame shooting badges. And let's go from there. So then I went with 94 ball handle, got Hall of Fame handles for days. I put my speed with ball to an 86 for that gold lightning launch. Then I was messing around with my vertical, put it to a 78 because I was going to attempt to put contact dunks on this build. And by the way, we're gonna, I'm going to pop up on the screen right now, the contact dunk animation requirements. And if you guys want more, any more extra information on the builder like this screenshot right here, make sure to go watch my My Player Breakdown video. There's tons of information that you're going to want to know that's in that video. But anyways, then I started messing around with the speed, the agility. I put a steal on my build and I even got my perimeter defense up to a 71. So these two stats gave me silver glove, silver interceptor and bronze challenger so all of a sudden i was like okay we're getting somewhere you know we are getting somewhere now still don't have a dunk i tried to max out my dunk it only went to an 81 that is definitely not going to be enough for any contact dunks so then i tried to sacrifice some other stats i put down my block i put down my defensive rebound i put down my agility as well i was trying to make some sacrifices try to see what i could get away with and i ended up getting my my pass like to a 74 and my dunk up to an 89 now an 89 dunk and a 78 vertical on a 6-3 build and by the way this is another reason that i don't even think i mentioned at the beginning of the video that you should go 6-3 is because you get extra contact dunks at 6-4 and below so you just get a lot of extra stuff when you're at this shorter height so anyways yeah at 89 dunk 78 vert you're gonna get pro contacts off two pro contacts off one you're gonna get the small contact dunks off two so there's three contact dunk packages that you're gonna get just off that but you know you're gonna see that we end up getting more than that at the end of the video but anyways yeah so this build is looking better than the first attempt but you know we still have low agility you know the perimeter and the steel is still kind of low for the twos and the ones court there's no block there's no interior you know we probably could or would like some extra finishing too so i started messing around with it a little more and i ended up sacrificing my three-pointer so i put the three-pointer from a 97 to a 94 which put all my shooting badges from hall of fame to gold once again gold shooting badges is still really good like i know a lot of people are probably seeing these legend badges and they're gonna want to go for them but like dude an all-around build with all the best badges at gold is going to be lethal in 2k25 so we ended up adjusting that and then i try to use those extra attributes that i saved through the three-pointer and i put some on agility i put some on speed and i put some on pass -like, and now look at this this is looking a lot more well-rounded we have an 83 pass act but we could probably up that even more to reach some more badge thresholds a 90 agility in an 85 speed so then i started adjusting even more to try to get to that 85 pass act for some extra badges and we ended up getting away with it so now at an 85 pass act i got bronze bailout i got gold dimer i got bronze versatile visionary i still have an 88 agility i still have an 85 speed i still have somewhat kind of defense on this build 
I still have three contact dunk animations. I have all the gold badges in the game on shooting wise. I have lightning uh, launch on gold as well. This is looking a lot better than our first attempt at making this build. And the 99 version of my second attempt making a 6-3 got an 81 steal extra attributes that I just had to spend. You know, 89 dunk, 94 three, 84 midi, 85 pass sag, 94 ball handle, 86 speed with ball, 71 perimeter with great physical stats with a bunch of good badges. Look at all the gold badges that I got. And I even got Hall of Fame handles for days. The reason I'm showing you guys me attempting to make these 6-3 builds is because maybe you like this second build or maybe that first build better for your play style or whatever court you're playing on than the first than the last build i end up making but that's the thing about these builds you know you don't have to copy the build exactly how i make them especially since i don't know the animation requirements outside of the contact dunks but anyways let's get to the third and final 6-3 build that i made that is the whole point of this video like i wouldn't have made this video if i didn't find this 6-3 build this 6-3 build is a build i'm considering for my first build of 2k25 and you guys know i'm a twos player so yes, I'm considering this being my main build to start 2K25 because it, it's just that good, okay? Like this build is pretty crazy, bro. So the first thing I end up doing is obviously putting the height to 6'3". Then I put my weight to minimum. And then I ended up putting my wingspan to 6'7". Now the reason I don't go minimum and the reason I don't go even lower is because I knew going in, you know what? I'm going to go with a 94 three pointer and I'm going to go for these gold shooting badges because I can, I'm a really good shooter already with low three point ratings and not a lot of shooting badges. So every gold badge in the game for shooting wise is going to be more than enough for me to shoot, especially with a 94 three point rating. So I have high wingspan as a 6'3 player, which is going to help me defensively and it's going to help me when I'm driving to the basket when it comes to dunks and stuff. So I kind of like the build we got going on here already because I don't want to be one of those six threes that's just a defensive liability I want to be able to hold my own somewhat defensively but anyways we go six three minimum weight six seven wingspan the first thing I did was go ahead and upgrade my three-pointer to a 93 we end up adjusting that later on though and then I put my ball handle to a 93 which automatically upgraded some other stats and I want a defense on this build okay so we put that steel up we put that perimeter defense up and yeah 91 steel 85 perimeter we're not messing around when i told y'all that this was the, the best one of the best all-around point guard builds in 2k25 i wasn't joking around y'all know how i get down in the builder okay the next thing i did was lower the agility just enough for that gold shifty shooter then i put my driving dunk all the way up to an 89 at first and that's not going to be the final driving dunk we go to because as you can see 89 is going to give us, you know, bronze posterizer without the vertical, but then we put the vertical up to a 78 and that ends up getting a silver posterizer and three contact dunks. So I'm like, okay, we're at a 97 overall. We have contact dunks. We do have a 93, three. We have a good ball handle. We have gold lightning launch. We have really good defense. We could get a lot more agility and speed. And I think more people would prefer a lot higher agility. But I looked at my three pointer and I saw that, like that 94 three was gold mini marksman. I just have to get that. So I ended up going 94 three pointer for that gold mini marksman. And now we have every shooting badge in the game on gold. And then the next thing I did, which you probably didn't even think I could afford. I put my driving dunk up to a 93 and my vertical up to an 80. Yeah we're gonna be getting gold posterizer and this means we are not only gonna get the pro contact dunks off two the pro contact dunks off one the small contacts off two but we're also gonna get the small contact dunks off one that's four contact dunk packages that we are getting plus gold posterizer not only that but i ended up being able to upgrade my speed as well all the way up to an 85 and i only have a 77 agility right now but look at i maxed out my block and i maxed out my interior defense now no matter what i wouldn't be able to get any blocking badges on this 6-3 build because it just won't reach a high enough block but a 63 block is definitely better than nothing because if you guys ever play 2k if you just have a 25 block and someone's driving by you and you jump like jumping is completely pointless like you're not going to get any kind of animation but if you have block upgraded you're gonna get some kind of animation where you jump and you actually, when you jump at him, you're gonna get some kind of contest. Not only that, but a max interior defense is also gonna help a lot this year too. Because if you have no interior defense, like people are just gonna be able to dunk meter over you with ease with and just force it. So 
max interior, max block with a 91 steel and an 85 perimeter with a higher wingspan than most 6'3 builds, the defense is looking really, really good on this build for a 6'3. Not only that, but I had enough attributes to put my defensive rebound up to a 60. Now, I know what a lot of you guys are thinking. You're like, oh, you should have put it here. You should have put it here. But what you guys are not understanding that you're going to understand when you get on 2K25 is this defensive rebound was super cheap. Like, I would have got like a plus one somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? Or go with a plus 12 on the defensive rebound and get bronze rebound chaser. Having rebound chaser adds a badge on a guard is going to be an advantage. I'm going to get animations on the twos, on the threes, or on the 1v1 court that most players are not going to get when it comes to going for a rebound that don't have the rebound upgraded. And guess what? Most guards don't upgrade their rebound. So I felt like that was a good extra thing that I just ended up getting. Not only that, but if you did if you didn't already peep, we also put my standing dunk to a 45. Cuz if you guys didn't know, I'm going to pop up on the screen the standing dunk animation requirements are very similar, if not the exact same in 2K25 than they were in 2K24. So I'm going to get both the one hand and the two hand standing dunk animations unlocked with this 45 standing dunk. So if I do go into the paint and I do a Giannis crossover or a De'Aaron Fox crossover to the paint, I'm going to be able to get a standing dunk if I want to. So anyways, this is the final build I ended up going with. Now, trust me, if you want to adjust this build, please go ahead and do so because there are some big adjustments that I would potentially even make depending on how the game works. Like for example, 77 agility on a 6.3 is probably low. If you wanna swap the speed and the agility or you saw the version number two, I mean, you can easily get to a 90 agility. You can easily get, you know, put the speed down, get a higher agility, which is probably what I would do if I were to make a second version of this build. If there were something I would change, it would be to put the speed down, increase the agility, or sacrifice something else to increase the agility and maybe lower the speed just a little bit. And then if there was a second thing I would adjust, it would be to sacrifice something else for maybe more pass act, depending on what court you're playing on. But this player for me would be mostly for the twos, maybe the threes and the ones court. So a 71 pass act, is gonna be good enough for me. So let's go over all the stats and what thresholds we met. So 93 driving dunk, the perfect driving dunk for those four contact dunk animations and the exact driving dunk you need for that gold posterizer with the 80 vertical. 48 standing dunk, we just had extra attributes so we just threw it on there, there was nowhere else to throw it. But 45 standing dunk is gonna give you two extra standing dunk animations. 94 three pointer is the exact three pointer needed to get every single gold shooting badge in the game. Now obviously if you wanna put a free throw on, put a free throw on, but I'm not gonna be playing fives for the first month of 2K25. So I'm not putting a free throw on my build. Pass accuracy 71, the exact pass sack you need to get that silver dimer. Not only that, but 70 pass sack was a really good threshold in 2K24 if you wanted to make a build to work for ones, twos, and threes. 93 ball handle, the exact threshold to get three of the four playmaking badges on gold. And the only one we're missing is a badge that we would need to put high strength on. And we're not looking for that when it comes to the 6-3 build. 86 speed with ball, the exact threshold we need for that gold lightning launch. And then max interior and max block, we didn't necessarily do for any badges. We just did that for the actual attribute. I just value those attributes rather than having a 25 in each of those categories and literally being completely useless when it comes to someone driving to the basket on you. 85 perimeter, literally the exact threshold needed for that on-ball menace. Silver badge, plus we get silver challenger, silver pick dodger, and gold gold off ball pass 91 steel the exact threshold rating needed for that gold interceptor and that gold glove and then we went with a 60 defensive rebound super cheap to get just to get bronze rebound chaser just as an extra attribute and advantage on the court then we went 85 speed and 77 agility which is going to give you gold shifty shooter it's going to allow you to have gold lightning launch honestly you could probably lower the speed and increase the agility a lot if you would prefer that and then 80 vertical for the contact dunk animations plus that's going to help us when it comes to defense if we are going for a block with that max block max interior not only that it's going to probably help with the rebounds a little bit with our bronze rebound chaser you guys didn't know center builds always go with 80 verticals because that's kind of that threshold where you get good jump animations for rebounds so that might even be a little advantage on this 6-3 when it comes to rebounding over other point guards. Now, here are all those badges all on one screen if you want to take a look at them. Not only that, but this build unlocks more takeovers than any build I had saw all community day from anyone. This build literally unlocks 21 takeovers. Guys, there's only 72. Well, there are 72 takeovers. There's a lot of takeovers. 
but this is like a third of the takeovers in the game and just to give you a perspective like most builds i was making you know unlocked eight takeovers four takeovers you know maybe seven takeovers dude this one gets 21 so you're gonna have tons of options that you can change between takeovers and takeovers abilities after making this build but once again you don't have to settle with one takeover like you did in like 2k20 or something like you can change these takeovers from game to game so let's go over every takeover it gets it gets above the rim so if you want to go for a plus 15 dunk and get poster machine takeover ability so just a complete slasher takeover you can unlock that it gets driver for driving dunk and ball handle same poster machine ability fluid shooter a boost to mid-range and three-pointer and it gets marksman takeover ability which is like a sharp takeover that's going to enhance standstill shots it gets kryptonite which that's going to give a boost to speed with ball speed and driving dunk with poster machine takeover ability that might be a good one if you want to be a lot faster and maybe go lower agility or lower speed to even get more attributes on this build knowing that you're going to have this takeover it gets midi magician so maybe you want to be on the twos court and just spam midi fades with this build as a bonus thing because you think you know the high three-pointer you're going to be fine with and you think you want a little boost to that 84 mid-range hey this takeover might be for you not only that it comes with silky shooter takeover ability which boosts off the dribble three point shots on the perimeter and gives you more ankle breakers this takeover is low-key insane so you get a mid-range boost with the actual attribute ratings and then the ability is going to give you ankle breakers and let you shoot off the dribble three-pointers that sounds insane and then they got pest which is going to give you a boost to proto defense steel and agility that sounds crazy good for defense if you want a defense takeover and it comes with the vice takeover ability which is going to basically like a lock take that makes the offensive player pick up the ball more and we already know that those pickups and fumble animations are already really good if you watched any 2k25 gameplay stuff so this 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 takeover will get really good too so if you a twos or ones player you want to go with like a lock take type of thing this is the one to go with it also gets satellite which gives you a boost to mid-range and three-pointer and that gives you the deep bomber takeover ability which is going to extend your takeover from farther out from the three-point line basically a limitless range takeover dude i'm not gonna lie this this build unlocks 21 takeovers and it's not like these takeovers are bad like these takeovers are insanely good you also unlock slice which gives you more of driving dunk speed and agility with the poster machine takeover ability you got spot up shooter which only gives you a boost of three pointer but a plus 10 at level five with that marksman takeover ability the claw plus 15 steel that you're telling me i'm gonna have 106 steel if i get to level five takeover with this build and it comes with spoiler takeover ability which gives you it literally is a takeover for on ball plucks i mean dude the it, but there's a, this is crazy this is crazy the takeovers that this build gets then there's three-point architect which is going to give you a boost to your three-point shot and your ball handle and give you the blur takeover ability which gives you more blow buys and like clamp breaker animations to pass by defenders bro that's perfect for this build so you're gonna get a boost of ball handle and three-pointer which is gonna allow you to shoot better and the takeover ability allows you to blow by defenders with your 93 dunk and your four contact dunk animations bro <laughs> That's perfect for this build then you got three and d which gives a boost to three pointer perimeter defense and agility with the marksman takeover that's a really good two-way takeover if you want that one swiper steel driving dunk and spoiler takeover ability then sniper with deep bomber so if you just want the almost op shooting takeover that's the one to go with then there's skilled slasher so this one's driving dunk three-pointer and layup with the power machine takeover ability so if you want like that slasher takeover but you also want a boost to the three-pointer this is the one to go with i'm not gonna lie i might pick this takeover if i'm going for like clips or something because and i want like an offensive takeover this this might be the one right here if, if you're not crazy about like shooting from hella deep this is a good one right here then we got another one that's just defense perimeter defense and steel with the spoiler takeover ability it's called the pickpocket one mirror is just only perimeter defense up to a plus 15 perimeter with the vice takeover ability so i can have a 100 perimeter defense on this build make it rain a boost of mid-range three-pointer and speed with the marksman takeover and i'm not gonna lie it's looking like these takeovers that give a boost to three different stats or two stats that really like combine well together like driving dunk and three-pointer but these three stats ones are getting plus seven the three different stats do that's like a total of plus 21 and if it comes with a good takeover ability like this one that that's definitely worth it then we got gifted hands three-pointer and steel with spoiler takeover another good two-way one then we got flash ball handles speed with ball and speed 
with the blur takeover ability and then we got dribble wizard which is just ball handle and speed with ball with the blur takeover ability so guys this is clearly a really good all-around build you can adjust it to your liking obviously there's enough stats for all of you guys that want to make a 6-3 build to adjust this to your liking whether it's increasing the agility or increasing the pass act or increasing the free throw or maybe even taking the dunk off and being like a more of a layup guy but anyways this build ends up having comparisons to steve francis jalen suggs and shay oh my god that is gonna be the two-way inside out iso creator i mean i'm looking for an iso build right y'all know i like my iso builds on the twos and i usually go taller but dude this build i really want to make this build i'm not gonna lie like this actually might be my build i'm not 100 percent sure i'm not gonna give that 100 percent you know improvement stamp of it being my main build or my first build but dude, ISO in the build name too, this might be perfect for me. I've never seen ISO in a build name ever. But anyways, then I took it to the My Court. Now keep in mind, this is what sucked about Community Day is that it didn't let us customize animations. So this build looks slow. It looks like it's bad, but like, dude, these are all default animations. I have no dunk packages equipped. I have not a single dribble move equipped. I don't have a jump shot on. I don't have anything on so i'm gonna show some gameplay right quick of this 6-3 so let's go ahead take a look you see i'm just messing around i mean dude look at how bad these drills are like i don't even want to show you guys this gameplay because there's just no really point there you shouldn't judge anything off this because it's like dude like there's nothing to show like I'm, i have default everything you know I'm, walk, I'm running around shooting fades with a default jump shot so if you were questioning it fading on the top of the key with no takeover i mean I mean, I'm doing it with a default jumper. <laughs> it's going to be able to floater. I wonder what floater animations it's going to unlock with the 78 layup. Um, I mean, dude, I'm shooting consistent with it already wide open with the default jumper. Like, it's, that's not anything impressive, but like 94 three-pointer is going to be really, really good. I also ended up playing a 1v1 with this build on a 6-3. Look at, dude, I'm making contested layups with, I don't even know if I have badges in this. With like, with no animations. I was getting contact dunks with the dunk meter and that was nothing so that really wasn't a contact dunk. this one though i mean dude i don't have a single i don't have contact dunks equipped i don't have dunk packages equipped i'm getting and ones i'm putting dudes on the floor already imagine with my dunk packages with my badges dude i just put them on the floor again like i wasn't really judging this build off any drill moves obviously this doesn't have any animations but dude the dunks that i was getting with this build and the my court kind of got me excited because Dude, this is what I'm doing with nothing equipped. Like, again, another content on? Like, imagine if I was, I have all my stuff and my drill moves and stuff. Dude, this build's gonna be insane. And I was getting pulled out a lot of these contact dunks and I was making the layup afterwards. And I didn't even, like, I wasn't even, like, expecting it. So I wasn't really timing well. I got this dude on cold after dunking on him so many times. I'm shooting that thing too with a default jump shot. Literally no drill moves. I don't even know how I'm getting open another wide open dunk with the dunk meter this build got me excited and notice also it's 6-3 and with this wingspan like this build doesn't look short bro like 6-3 is definitely i feel like it's gonna be able to hold its own on the 1v1 2v2 3 like every court like it looks big like this like with the smaller player models this year in 2k25 this build looks bigger than you would think but anyways let me know in the comments your honest opinion on this build i'm dropping tons of other builds whether it's taller iso builds centers lockdowns shorter guard builds even shorter than this on the channel so make sure to drop a like if this video helped you out at all when it comes to making your own build going into 2k25 and subscribe to the channel we gotta hit this 900k before 2k25 hit that subscribe button it's been your boy henry aka the double h and I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.